In commemoration to his one year in office, the Comptroller General of Custom, Adewale Adeniyi, takes Nigerians through his achievement throughout this one year. Under the guidance of the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Olawale Adu, Customs embarked on an initiative to align its responsibilities with Mr. President's Policy Advisory Document, PAD. In this regard, a total of nine priority areas were highlighted to deliver immediate benefits within the administration's first 12 months. These areas were aligned under four core statutory responsibility of NCS, which were trade facilitation, revenue connection, protection of the society, and collaboration of the stakeholder, uh, with our stakeholders. Ademi reveals that it has been a remarkable 74% growth in the revenue collection with a total of 4.4 trillion naira gotten onto the government, co-files between June 2023 and May 2024. Recording a total revenue collection of 4.49 trillion between January 2023 and May 2024, compared with 2.58 trillion naira collected during the corresponding period of the previous year. This achievement was underpinned by a sustained increase of 70.13% in the average monthly revenue collection compared to that of previous years. We recorded an average monthly revenue collection of 343 billion compared to 202 billion averagely last year. The Comptroller General of Custom, while addressing journalists at the Custom Headquarters, highlighted four core statutory responsibilities of the Nigerian Custom Service, which includes trade facilitations, revenue collection, protection of society, and collaboration with stakeholders. He noted that the NCS will continue to promote collaboration with the traditional and new stakeholders, both national and international, across various forms in order to reform the economy that will foster sustained inclusive growth, accelerate diversification through industrialization, and strengthen national security that will promote peace and prosperity in the country. We also took the lead in reviving the activities of the National Trade Facilitation Committee, hosting and supporting various engagements of this particular committee. New frontiers of interagency cooperation were established with the Federal Rural Safety Corps and the Joint Tax Board, finalizing arrangements to integrate both systems to minimize registration of small good vehicles in Nigeria. Irene Okechukwu. Reporting for Rapid TV News, Abuja.